small shop owner has bid in the Santa or in any right bazaar. एक ही जगह पे मिल के Those type of plastics are known as thermosetting plastics. In comparison, there are three types. Up, down, right, left. I am not in fear to anyone. We are flowers. We are top on the Everest. Congratulations. I want to be a leader. Hi Swaros, this is Panita of Class 6 from Telangana Social Welfare Residential Schools Junior College from Palakurti. Friends, do you know Palakurti is a poetic background place. The great Somanadudu, the great Palakurti Somanadudu was not only a famous poet but also a great devotee of Lord Shiva. Another another poet is the another poet is the Bommera Potana who wrote the Bhagavatam is also from this place. Friends, na naturally we Swaros of Palakurti we Swaros of Palakurti were were with poetic spirit made made me to be here. So friends, now what do you see on the table here? Yes, there are some things. Can you name the things? Yes, turbans, jade, mirror, etc. Where, where do we get all these things from? Yes, we get all these things from shops, malls, shopping complex, etc. Now, friends, can you name some bazaars? Yes, the bazaars are Begum Bazaar, Lard Bazaar, Moti Chauk, etc. Where these bazaars are located? Yes, these bazaars are located in Hyderabad. Now, we are going to learn about the poem in the bazaars of Hyderabad. It was written by Sarojini Naidu. Bazaars of Hyderabad. It was written by Sarojini Naidu. Written by Sarojini Naidu. Friends, do you know about the Sarojini Naidu? She was a famous poet. She was a poetess and politician. She was a sensitive poet and wrote a number of poets based on the beauty of simple joys and sorrows of life. Her poetry included with children's poems, nature poems, poems on love and death, etc. She was very interested in literature and wrote a number of books such as Golden Threshold. She is the first female president of the Indian National Congress. She is the first first woman to become the governor of Uttar Pradesh. Friends, she was the, her birthday is celebrated as a children's day. Now, I am going to recite the poem. What do you sell, O a merchant? Richly your ways are displayed. Turbans of crimson and silver. Tunics of purple brocade. Mirror with panels of amber. Dagger with handles of jade. What do you wait, O a vendor? Saffron and lentil and rice. What do you grind, O ye maiden? Sandalwood, henna and spice. What do you call, O ye peddlers? Chessmen and ivory dice. What do you make, O ye goldsmith? Wristlets and anklets and ring. Bells for the feet of blue pigeons. Frail as a dragon fly swing. Girdles of gold for dancers. Scarbats of gold for the king. What do you cry, O ye fruitman? Citron, pomegranate and plum. What do you play, O ye magician? Spells for eons to come. What do you wear, O ye flower girl, with tassels of azure and red, crowns for the brown of a bright room, chaplets to garland his bed, sheets of white blossoms new garner to perfume the sleep of the dead. Friends, now I'm going to uh, I'm going to sing the poem. Please listen. What do you sell, 
Sarojini Naidu. She is the nightingale of India. See friends, what do you observe here? Yes, it is a buzzer of Hyderabad. See friends, in the first stanza, what do you sell? OA merchant. A means used in the past to address more than one person. When more than one person, we use E. Richly your ways are displayed. Waves means things are things that are sold, especially in the street or at the market. See friends, they are all displaying their wares. Turbans of crimson and silver. 
see friends this is the red turbine and another one is silver turbine tunic tunics of purple brocade tunic means a jacket brocade means with a raised pattern woven into a raised pattern mirror with panels of amber see friends that is the mirror with panels of amber amber means hard alloy substance used for making jewelry panel panel means usually raised above or sunk below the surroundings area daggers with handles of jade daggers means a short a short edged scabbing stone we use as a dagger as a weapon jade jade means a green ornamental stone see friends jade means a ornamental stone or a precious stone now i am explaining the first stanza the poet is uh, the poet in the bazaars of hyderabad she comes to the first stanza about what they are selling they says crimson turbans purple brocade tunics mirror of tin in amber dagger with handle made up of jade this is the first stanza do you understand friends okay what do you wait oh ye wind suffering and lentil line rise what do you grind oh ye maiden sandal wood henna and spice what do you call oh ye peddlers just my nan i worry dies what do you wait oh ye wind suffering and lentil and rice friends see here saffron and lentil this is a lentil lentil and rice this is the rice sandalwood henna and spice see friends this is the sandalwood this is the henna and these are the spices these are the sandalwood henna and spices See friends, this is the chessman and ivory dice. This is the chessman and these are the ivory dice. Chessman and these are the ivory dice. Chessman. who plays chess lintel lintel means it is a pulse now the second stanza here the poet asked the question poet is asked the question to the vendor about what they are weighing and selling see fair friends what do you weigh o a vendor weight means the heaviness of the thing see what he is weighing saffron and lentil and rice then vendor vendor means a person who sells something is called vendor saffron and lentil and rice see friends saffron saffron and lentil and rice he is weighing what do you grind o a maiden grind means to crush small particles they they will grind like this maiden maiden means unmarried girl or a virgin see friends they are grinding the maidens are grinding sandalwood henna and spice this is the this is the sandalwood and this is the henna and these are the spices 
What do you call OA oh, yeah, peddlers? Peddlers means someone who goes from one place to another by selling their things. See friends, they are going to one to one another place to sell their things. Chessman and ivory dice. See friends, this is the chessman and these are the ivory dices. It is made from the elephant's tusk. See friends, in the second stanza, the poet asks the same question to the vendor about what they are selling. About what they are selling. They say saffron and lentil and rice. Then she asks the peddlers about what they are selling. They say chessman dice made from ivory. Friends, the third stanza, uh, do you understand the second stanza friends? Okay, now the third stanza. What do you make? Oh yeah, goldsmith, wristlets and anklets and ring. Bells for the feet of a blue pigeon, frail as a dragon flies wing. Girdles of gold for dancers, cabots of gold for the king. What do you make? Oh, a yeah, goldsmith, wristlets and anklets and ring. Friends, see here. This is the wristlets and we wear like this. How is it? This is the wristlet. And these are the anklets we wear to our legs. These, these are the anklets. See friends, these are the anklets. And this is the ring. See friends, this is the ring. Now see friends here, what do you make OA oh, yeah, goldsmith? Goldsmith means who make gold and silver ornaments. See friends they are making gold and silver ornaments. Wristlets and anklets and ring. See that is the wristlets, anklet and ring. Bells for the feet of blue pigeons. See friends you know the bells. You know the bells for the feet of blue pigeons? These are the bells for blue pigeons. And frail as a dragonfly's wing. See friends, that is a dragonfly. Frail means thin and delicate. Girdles of gold for dancers. See friends, these are the girdles for dancers. They wear these girdle. They wear these these type of girdles for their their waistband is called this girdle. Scabards of gold for the king. See friends, this is the scabard. This is the scabard of a jade. They will keep he, like this. This is the jade with this cupboard. See friends. Do you uh, now the third the third stanza? The poet visited jewelry shop in the third stanza and she asked about what they what ornaments they make. Then they say wristlets, anklets, and ring. Moreover, they say, manufacture bells for the feet of blue pigeons. The bells are delicate as a dragonfly's wing. And gold girdle for dancers, shatas of gold for kings to keep their swords. Friends, do you understand the third stanza? Okay. Now, the, third st uh, the fourth stanza. What do you cry? Oh, ye fruit man. Sit and pomegranate and plum. What do you play, O oh, ye magician? Spells for eons to come. What do you wave, O oh, ye flower girl with tassels of azure and red? Crowns for the brown of a bright room. Chaplets to girl and his bed. See, friends, this is the. This is the. Citron. This is the citron. And this is the pomegranate. What is this? 
as this is the pomegranate and in in the inside of pomegranate will be like this in the inside of pomegranate and these are the plums what is this as yes, these are the plums friends now see this what do you cry oh a fruit man fruit man means who sells fruits cry means to shout loudly or to utter loudly citron citron pomegranate and plum see friends these are the citron and pomegranate and plum what do you play oh a magician spells for eons to come magician means a person who play magic powers is called magician magician who plays magic powers friends now the third the third the, do you understand friends the poet visit a fruit shop in the fourth stanza about what they are selling she is then they says citron pomegranate and plum then she even comes cross magician and ask them about what they what they will play then the magician says they will spell thousands ago to come thousands ages to come they play magic the final stanza do you understand the fourth stanza friends okay now we go to the final stanza what do you, what do you wave oh ye flower girl with tassels of azure and red crowns for the brown of a bright room chaplets to girl and his bed sheets of white blossoms new gonna to perfume the sleep of the dead what do you wave oh ye flower girl with tassels of azure and red this is the final stanza friends see friends these are the tassels these are the tassels this is the this is the azure tassel means it is a bright blue color this is also another 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 tassel this is the crown what is this as yes, this is the crown they will wear like this for bridegroom they will wear like this for bridegroom so friends azure azure means bright blue color bright blue color blue color this is a bright blue color friends see, the final stanza is about a flower girl see friends here what do you wear oh a flower girl the flower girl is wearing means she is tying the flowers she sees weighing with tassels of azure and red tassels an ornamental hanging tuft of threads tassels means an an ornamental hanging tuft of threads crowns for the brown of a bridegroom see friends they are see friends there this is the bridegroom for this is the crown for the bridegroom chaplets to garland his bed see friends chaplets garland of flowers see friends there the garland their bed for the wedding night sheets of white blossoms new gana to perfume the sleep of the dead blossom means a mass of flowers especially on a tree see friends there are flowers on a tree 
we call them as a blossom dead dead means no longer alive complete see friends there is no alive complete the final stanza is about a flower girl who asked about what they are tying they says tassels of azure and red and we, and she asks about what they are weighing with the strands of red and blue flowers they says that they are that they are making garland for the bridegroom to decorate their bed for the wedding night and they are also weighing sheets of white flowers for fragrant purpose friends do understand the stanza okay do understand the all stanzas friends okay friends now here it i will so friends it was written by sarojini naidu this poem was written by sarojini naidu you know why she wrote this poem yes one must know that this poem was written during the freedom struggle of india sarojini naidu wanted to unite the indians and drive away the british out of india so she tried to encourage the indians to buy the goods from the traditional bazaars rather than purchasing the foreign goods she tried to awaken the spirit of patriotism through this poem by suggesting her countrymen to take part in gandhi ji swadeshi movement at this time the publication of indian newspapers were banned so writing this was the best way to spread this message do you understand friends why she wrote this poem okay friends now we are going to do an activity now we are going to do an activity that is rhyming words rhyming words friends in the first stanza can you guess can you guess the rhyming words in the first stanza s yes, in the first stanza brocade j s yes. in the first stanza brocade j can you add few more words to the can you add few more words to this yes made shade fade etc you can add any words now in the you tell in the second stanza rhyming words that are rice spice dice can you add few more words to this stanza these are the rice spice dice can you add few more yes mice price etc you can add any more can you tell can you tell the rhyming words in the third stanza okay in the third stanza a ring wing king can you add can you tell the rhyming words okay spring etc you can add any more now the final stanza can you can you can you add can you say the rhyming words in the final stanza s yes. uh, in the final stanza red bed dead can you add few words fed led etc these are the rhyming words friends now let us see here see friends activity 1 rhyming words see brocade jade made shade 